Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're just going to look at um, the stuff you need to install to get started with um, developing web applications using Eclipse and Tomcat. So um, to start with, um, you probably already, if you've done any Java development, you probably have a JDK installed. Um, and of course you need, um, you're going to need that, you're going to need um, I'd recommend installing the Java Standard Edition um, JDK, that's Java Development Kit. And you'll also need the um, the JRE, the Java Runtime Environment, probably. So you need to install those. And you can just, just, just search for JDK. Um, and at the moment, the latest version is 7. I think 8 is coming out soon, because um, I'm making this tutorial towards the end of um, 2012 now. So if you search for JDK, JDK 7, for example, you'll find the uh, versions of Java that you need to download. Um, now, once you've got Java installed and running, you'll want a version of Eclipse. So if you search for, um, if you go to eclipse.org, so let's go to eclipse.org here, and go to Downloads. And the version to install is the Eclipse IDE for Java EE Enterprise Edition, I think that stands for developers. And uh, actually I made part of these tutorials using, uh, I think it's the Juno version of Eclipse, and other parts I made using an older version, which it doesn't really matter um, because um, everything's pretty much the same anyway. But download the latest version of Eclipse. And you'll also want a um, application server and for our application server and these tutorials, we're going to use Tomcat. So Tomcat is a web server. Um, and most often, if you have like an industrial strength installation, you use Apache, the Apache HTTP server for um, serving up most of your web content. But you get Apache to redirect to Tomcat for um, serving up Java servlets. And in this series of tutorials, we're just going to look at using Tomcat by itself to serve um, Java web applications. And we'll also look at deploying web applications on the internet as well. But so download the Eclipse IDE for Java developers, and also you'll want to install Tomcat. Um, and at the moment, um, Tomcat 7 is the latest one. But if, if there's a later version that Eclipse works with, um, then by all means, download that. So just go to Tomcat 7, and I'm actually going to, I've actually installed the, um, a, um, you want the binary release probably, at least if you're using Windows, the binary distribution, and I'd recommend installing the 32-bit um, Windows um, service installer, which will install Tomcat as a service on your machine. So once you've got those um, hopefully up and running, uh, you'll be able to see Tomcat, you'll, you'll get this um, monitor Tomcat thing installed and um, you might want to run that using as administrator, so I'll right click and go to run as administrator here and click yes and uh, now we can see that um, Tomcat is started and it's running and if Tomcat is running uh, you should be able to go to localhost and 8080, that's the port on your machine. And with a bit of luck, you'll see a standard default Tomcat page there. So here we go. Um, and once you've got Tomcat and you've got Eclipse running, then start Eclipse, and this is Eclipse Juno. Um, and and um, much of this tutorial series I've developed using um, Tomcat 6 and an older version of Eclipse. But as I say, things haven't changed much, so um, it doesn't really matter. And this is a welcome screen. And once you've got it, in, once you've got it up and running, go to the workbench here. And um, if you want, you can add a new server down here on the Servers tab. So click New Server Wizard and open Apache because we are using Apache Tomcat. And let's say you're using Tomcat 7, which I am now um, at the moment, and click Next. And um, you might have to tell it where the um, where the Tomcat installation directory is. So um, I installed mine in I think it's Program Files x86 and uh, Apache Software Foundation. 
um, maybe not. Actually, I think I installed in, because uh, I've got a 64 bit machine, so I've got two program files here. But I think I installed in program files for Apache Software Foundation, Tomcat 7, click OK. And um, everything else should be fine here. I want to use the um, Java Runtime Environment version 7, or you could use version 8 if that's out by the time you're looking at these tutorials. And let's just go through this wizard. And um, that looks okay. So now we've got a server. And if you get everything configured correctly, um, you should be able to start and stop a um, Tomcat instance from Eclipse here by just right clicking and going to start or stop. Um, so in this case, uh, the reason this is complaining is saying that ports used by Tomcat are already in use. And the reason for that is very simple. It's that I've already got Tomcat running as a service. So if you get that message, um, go to your monitor Tomcat application, run it as administrator, and stop Tomcat, stop the main um, instance of Tomcat on your machine. And when you've done that, right click this server in Eclipse and go to start. And with a bit of luck, if everything's okay, you'll see this red stuff, which looks alarming, but it's actually fine. And the server will actually start. And in, if you look at the console here, you can see that it says server startup in such and such milliseconds. Okay, so that's that's um, that's all good. That's your basic installation. And in the next tutorial, um, we're going to look at creating a Hello World server application using this setup. So join me again then, and until next time, happy coding.